Hello artist, I want to show you in this video um, how I do some quick sketches with just a sharpie. So this is my sketchbook and all you need is just a sharpie pen. And uh, so I'll just show you some of the examples of sh um, sharpie sketches that I've done in my sketchbook. And some of these sketches are a little bit more it um, a lead, takes a little bit more time, but the simpler ones really just take um, less than five minutes. Like the ones that I'm going to show you actually take less than five minutes. So this, um, that was Chloe, my little girl, when she was having, drinking her oat milk in the morning, and I just did a quick sketch of her. So it literally, it took, you know, five or so minutes. And some of these are just movie characters, as you can see. <laughs> Um, this one obviously took a little bit longer. I'm sure you know what movie it is from. And some of these are just um, images that I find see online that are quite inspiring. As you can see, some of the sketches are better than others and some are just really plain <laughs> bad. But it's okay. It's kind of like um, our... It's just a quick exercise. So in this video, I think I'm just going to show you how to do some um, quick sketches and they are in real time. So as you can see, some of them can be done in three minutes. I um, literally just try to fiddle with it a bit more because I thought those videos would be too short <laughs> for you. So, um, you know, I, you know, literally they could be done much faster if I didn't just uh, mess with them that much. Like they could be done in three minutes. So when you do this exercise, probably, you know, um, set yourself a timer to get them done in under 10 or even 5 minutes. And so the intention or the purpose of this exercise really is to um, practice our hand-eye coordination and also drawing from life. So the model I am using is myself. So there are a couple of ways you can do a drawing of yourself. So first, you can, you know, just put a like the um you can just put a mirror on your table or your desk and then just look at yourself in the mirror and draw yourself. And of course, you can always take a photo of yourself and draw from the photo. But for me, um in this exercise, I will encourage you to actually do that from life. So, of course, there are two ways actually you can do it from life. First, as I said, you can do it with a mirror. And if you don't have a mirror, actually you can do it with your phone. So with your phone, instead of taking a photo, you can just switch on the camera and, um, you know, and look at yourself on the, um, your phone screen. So the cam in the camera mode. So that way you can also look at yourself and practice drawing from life. And your sketch does not have to be perfect. Like, you know, this one I am doing here, you know, um, the light is coming from the left. Um, and, you know, obviously I started with having a little bit of um, too many marks on the nose and that is okay. Um, this is in your sketchbook and it is for your eyes only, for your practice only. You don't have to make it perfect. It's just a uh, practice. And also, I think the practice is good for our, you know, hand-eye coordination and drawing. Um, and basically, just to get comfortable with making random marks and being comfortable with having quote-unquote mistakes um, on your drawings and be okay with it. Um, and also, another tip is just to um, don't grab your pen too close to the tip. Try to um, hold your pen a little bit towards the end of the pen or in the middle of the pen and just like so that way you can keep your mark a little bit um, loose and not so tight um, and another thing that I want to point out is also that you know um, I also find that this is also a way that we can actually start you know looking into our style uh, you know how we make marks how we draw um you know by really not uh caring too much about the outcome and also forcing ourselves not to erase and just um you know make some really uh 
uh, marks that is not really intended to be seen by other people and but just for our enjoyment and setting a time limit because when we um, when we have a lot of time right we just not um, we we feel we have the luxury to perfect things and then we change things we add things but when we set ourselves a time limit um, we can't overthink it and often that way we can you know um, take our mind a little bit more out of the equation and that creates room for our intuition and our just our natural tendency to come out so over time as i flip through this sketchbook i you know i can see they are really uh, my sketches and how i sketch um, and of course doesn't mean that i'm set in this way but um, definitely that's just a, you know i can you know we can always improve um, technique wise and you know but there's something i don't know how to express in words but if you just flip through your sketchbooks over time or over the years you can see that your techniques have improved you even your accuracy perhaps have improved but there is something consistent and that is your kind of style this last sketch of is a front facing sketch and it took less than five minutes literally just four minutes as you can see in the video um, but it was actually the second sketch I did the first sketch I did is this one that you're watching now which is a three-quarter portrait sketch it's also a selfie and um, basically I did it by looking at myself in the mirror and the my camera didn't zoom in properly so it's a little bit blurry I thought about deleting it but I think um, probably I can just still show you you know um, maybe some of you will find some value in it as well just like um, it's also a quick sketch I think it took just maybe six minutes um, I could finish it earlier but I thought oh the video was a bit too short so I kind of just fiddle with it a little bit more but it could actually just take uh, five minutes or less so um, a three-quarter portrait of course you know as whether you're looking at yourself in the camera mode on your phone or in the mirror you just need to position your face um, slightly differently as you do the um, front facing portrait or the three quarter portrait right so basically there's a few things that you need to pay attention to that are just the uh, um, basic proportions so um, you know how how big is the eyes and the nose and that kind of things but with a sketch like this as you can see I didn't make any kind of measurements or marks that is definitely a technique that you can use basically you can just use a dot to mark the corners of the eyes and the edges of the face that kind of things if you're not um, if just by free um, free hand drawing it you find you have some trouble with proportion what you can do is you just make a dot of where the nose the bottom of the nose is a dot of where the corner of the corners of the mouth is the dot of where the corners of the eyes is and the edges of the face and the chin the forehead just make a dot before you connect it with lines so that's a tip for you if you find um, drawing freehand um, straight away kind of uh, messes up with the proportion you can start with just marking small dots so because i've drawn myself so many times i'm quite familiar with my own features that's why i didn't um, i didn't need to use that method i just freehand draw my features and sometimes it does not turn out very well sometimes my proportions can still be off um, and you know if if that's the case then using the my, the dot method definitely help again the dot you don't you don't need to make you know a string of dots you just make one dot for the bottom of the face one dot for the top of the face one dot the bottom of the nose and each dot for the corner of the mouth and that kind of things and you can um, correct because they're just a dot and if they are off you can just make another dot and then when you do the um, rendering with the lines and that kind of things they can easily be incorporated into the final drawing so yeah that's it um, this drawing is basically you know complete now um, if after I just you know um, sketch in my iris and the drawing is then complete so I hope you enjoyed this little 
um, short sharpie sketches and they are really a quick way to just get your um, get your drawing um, every day um, I, <laughs> I know I should do it myself but even I don't do it but they literally take a few minutes if you have a sketchbook and five minutes of your day you can do it so I hope you enjoyed this and um, if you have any questions just feel free to leave a comment and I will see you in the next video